that's rough. But they have DeJounte Murray. Uh, you know, he's been playing incredibly well. Devin Vassell, as I, as I mentioned, yeah. is absolutely killing it for them. Lonnie Walker, I like him a lot. I'd like to see a little bit more out of him. But what is this team doing moving on here? Well, again, I'm looking at the front court. I mean, Jakob Pertl had a be- a pretty good year, I think, for his standards. You know, I, I don't consider him to be one of the better uh, centers or big men in the game, but he played very well for them this season. I just think they need to – they have some questions to answer down there on the front line. You know, they, they now have Zach Collins, a guy who has been out of – basketball for a long time over the past couple years with injuries what are they really going to do with him how much can you rely on him for Um, and then you've got guys like Doug McDermott and Devin Vassell and and all these guys who you know might be at at different stages of their careers Uh, I I think it's a personnel issue with them they're they've got some really nice starting blocks DeJounte Murray um, I like Devin Vassell a lot as a player and Keldon Johnson had a really really solid rookie season he he definitely played better than I expected him to especially offensively Mm -hmm. it's a guy this is a guy who was advertised as an athletic freak with a lot of defensive potential but he shot really really well from three this year I want to say he actually was at 40 percent from three I, I, I might be wrong about that but I think he was pretty close if not there um, so they've got some good things to go off of. Lonnie Walker is a big question mark for me. I think he's got an amazing potential. Um, he, he can really get hot very, very quickly. But, again, kind of like Charlotte, that to me they've got a bunch of the same type of player here. Joshua Primo is another guy, their first-round pick this season, yep. who they have high hopes for. He was drafted, I think, a, a lot higher than most people expected, um, and he hasn't really panned out the the way that they might have hoped there's still time for sure but they just they just got a lot of young question marks to answer on this team and i i do uh expect them to look pretty closely at their front line as well so we were mistaken here on the draft picks they actually have four draft picks in this draft three first rounders and a second rounder they have their own first round pick Uh, They can land between one and four. They have a four and a half percent chance of getting the number one overall pick. If they don't win the lottery, it drops to between nine and 13, depending on how the seating works out. They also have first round picks from Boston and Toronto, and they have the Lakers second round pick as well. Wow. So they expect them to be busy. Yeah, they have a lot. They have a lot of uh, things to work with here. But yeah, I agree with you. I, I don't think uh, Jakob Pertl is the answer for them at center. You know, he, I think he's he's more of a of a backup center to me. I agree. They need to figure out who that is, and uh, I I think honestly they just need to figure out what the direction of this team is going to go. Is Greg Popovich? How long is he going to stay yeah, around? That's another question. Is is sure. he is he here for a full rebuild? Obviously, he's yeah. been there the past two seasons and they've underperformed, and he's still there, but. I think they need to figure out what's going on with Greg, or sorry, with Pop. So if he's there to stay, they might need to speed up this process a little bit versus if he moves on, maybe one of his assistants or somebody he groomed comes back in, takes over, and then they can take their time and rebuild this thing and try and get back to where they were, where they're a competitive team for 20 years. 20 years and you know honestly they are one of the best run franchises in the nba so in all the professional sports i wouldn't be surprised if they are back in the playoffs sooner rather than later yeah Uh, if Dejounte murray continues to get better like he already made an all-star team this year he's a a really really fine young player so that's a great start right there What are your thoughts on Zach Collins? I I know he's been dealing with a ton of injuries. He was originally drafted by Sacramento, traded to Portland. Uh, I think he was like the number 10th pick overall. He's had more injuries, but he played okay today. 17 minutes, 5 points, 2 rebounds. Obviously not what he did when he was in Portland. But is he a future player on this team? Somebody to build around? Not not for me. Okay. I, I, you know, I don't um see what the spurs see in practice every day but at this point 
like you said, he's been hurt a lot. And, I, you know, I'm just wondering, I'm not sure how much he, money he makes either, but I feel like it's a decent amount. Let me, let me uh, take a look here. So I, I just feel like you, you can't rely on him for what, what you really need out of him. Let me, I'm just running his salary here real quick. I don't think it's much. So he signed a three-year, $22 million contract with San Antonio. So he's averaging about seven, seven and a half. Okay, a so season. yeah, that, it's less than I thought it was. But still, it. I, I just worry about his overall productivity. You know, I, I'd be interested to see how many total games he's played in the past two or three years. Yeah. It, it's At some point, it, it gets hard to rely on somebody looking at this constantly missing games looking at this entire roster here of san antonio how many starters do you see actually on this team Oof, that's tough i mean you got josh richardson coming off the bench he played a ton of minutes tonight 12 points for him you got lonnie walker coming off the bench you know then you got guys like romeo langford who have bounced around not really sure what to expect from him uh and zach collins coming off the bench like i see maybe two Three starters. Yeah, on they, this they have a bunch of tweeners uh, on this team. Guys that you might hope become starters, like a Devin Vassell, who th- this is only his second season, so you hope there's still some progression to be made from him, and he can eventually become a full time starter. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, Doug McDermott, Lonnie Walker, these are guys who have started a bunch of games in the in the NBA for multiple teams. But uh, are they on a team that you want to build? around the hopes of winning a title, are those guys really going to be your starters? I, I'm not sure. Zach Collins is another one who you want, you would expect yep. to start when he's healthy, uh, when he's playing really well, but he just hasn't worked himself back into that form yet. And even Jakob Pertl, he starts on this team, but is he really a starter? So, yeah, th- to me, they just have a bunch of in-between guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think they have a bunch of guys and a bunch of picks now that they can try and trade up try and acquire one of these guys, make a big trade. But, you know, it's been interesting because all the guys that they've really brought in, like a LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, a DeMar DeRozan, all these guys haven't really flourished in the system. So, you know, I I might be a little hesitant to bring in a guy like a Bradley Beal or somebody like that that, you know, I know Pop is is a great coach, like I said, one of the greatest, Mm -hmm. but it seems like he only works with certain types of, of players and superstars stars otherwise they're just too much into themselves or or they just don't buy into the system right well i'm not so sure i agree with that i i think all of his players buy into the system i mean we already mentioned they they led the league in assists per game this year they really share the ball they san when you think of san antonio they've had these mega stars right over the last 20 years duncan and ginobili and parker mm-hmm. and the list goes on Kawhi leonard all that stuff but even those guys played within pop's system mm-hmm. i mean i think that if you go play for greg popovich you're playing his way yeah you're not playing your own way but it might hinder you as a player like it did to uh, lamarcus aldridge uh, did it really hinder him though i mean he's going to be a first ballot hall of famer so I remember after his first season was over, he was considering asking for a trade. And Greg Popovich admits that he used him in the wrong way. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to let him do more of his thing. I tried to do too much with him. I tried to take him out of his game. I tried to make him one of these system players, and that's not what he is. And, I mean, he didn't really thrive after that point. He moved on. You know, we saw him with Brooklyn. Then he had uh, the heart injury or the heart issue. Yeah. I think he's back now, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's interesting, right? Because you, you look at such an amazing coach in such an amazing, amazing franchise. And then it seems like when guys like DeMar DeRozan leave there, they just have career years. <laughs> Maybe it's just uh, one guy. I, I think it's probably more of a one-off. I mean, first of all, how many, look at co- Kawhi Leonard. How many coaches would actually say something like that? Admit yeah. that they used a guy the wrong way and they yep. impacted his performance negatively. Yep. There aren't many coaches I can think of that would say that. And it's funny because when he's interviewed by the media, he literally answers in like five oh, words. Oh, he gives the best interviews. It was a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw Kawhi Leonard also left the Spurs, 
played great. Not that he didn't play good with the Spurs. Was but the Finals MVP? He had with probably the Spurs. he had probably his best season of his career with Toronto. Oh yeah, he did. But again, yeah. Finals MVP with the Spurs. He he played really well for them too. Yep. To everyone that's just joining us, welcome to Basketball at the Bar, your favorite sports bar. We're just breaking down the games today, uh, the teams that got eliminated. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. We put out fresh live content Monday through Friday. We would love if you guys join us. A couple more things today on the menu. We are